Hey, OSL family, welcome back to another one of our Stephen Ministry series videos where we are getting to know the Stephen ministers that serve here at Our Savior Lutheran Church in McKinney. Today, I'm joined by Joanne McGon. Joanne, thanks for taking time today. Thanks. Thanks for having me. So what we like to do in these videos is, is talk a little bit about Stephen ministry, um, talk about who who Joanne is as a, as a disciple of Jesus and as a member of our church community. So uh, let's start there. Give me a little bit of your history. How long have you been at OSL? I've been at OSL for almost 28 years. Oh, wow. Um, we were transferred from Chicago Okay. Um, back at the end of 95 and uh, was driving around the neighborhood and, oh, wow, a Lutheran church right in there. Nice. And uh, I've been here ever since. See, I'm learning stuff here. I knew you'd been here a while, but yeah. so you're so. How long had OSL been here? I don't know all the history. How um, long had they been here before y'all joined? It it was incorporated, I believe, in 1977. Okay, so twenty something years. Yeah. Okay, and so okay. I was here for the sanctuary build and oh, all wow. of that. We we met in the what's now the fel- fellowship hall. Okay, that that's for you. Mm-hmm. So you're a deep heritage OSL <laughs> member. I love that. I yeah. love that. Um, let's see. Craig Dubois was the senior uh-huh. pastor, and Scott Sunby was the associate okay. when I so, came. So have you always been Lutheran, or did you have yes. a... Okay, so... Born and raised. I went to Lutheran school, kindergarten to eighth grade, um, uh-huh. and then went to public high school and college. But um, yes, I started... All Very up in early. the Chicago area? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Cubs or White Sox? Cubs. <laughs> North side all the way. For sure. All right, all right. Wonderful. Well, if y'all don't know Joanne yet, she's a wonderful part of our community. You're also a, uh, you're part of the quilting group, well, right? the quilting group kind of, yes. Sewing. The sewing the group sewers. now that we're doing the right? uh, banner for banners. the baptism banners. You're one of our readers in, in worship. Yes. Uh, LWML, LWML, currently secretary, choir, choir, uh, altar guild. Very involved. <laughs> Quite. Wonderful. Wonderful. One of our wonderful saints here that, that <laughs> serve at OSL. And one of the key places you serve is in the Stephen ministry, um, which I've said on other videos, I'm such a huge fan of the Stephen ministry. Y'all are such a blessing to the pastors here at OSL because you, you help us a lot in caring for our people filling the gaps where our church is growing and growing and getting bigger and bigger. And it's hard for us to care for people. And y'all provide the type of one-on-one care that is such a blessing yeah. to people. Mm-hmm. And so you have, you're, you've had a, uh, I would say unique history in Stephen ministry because you've been on both sides of the table. Yes. Um, I had a care receiver in, I believe it was, or a, I'm sorry, a Stephen minister mm-hmm. in, um, 2009. Okay. Um, my father had passed away at the, in the December of 2008. And not long after that happened, my husband started with his chronic illness. And so I was kind of getting hit from both sides yeah. and um, it was pretty rough. Um, Somebody was visiting my husband, one of the Stephen ministers, kind of unofficially, and uh, he happened to be there one day when uh, my husband needed to go to the hospital. And so he asked me, he said, do you think you could use a Stephen minister? And I didn't really hesitate and said, I believe so. And so um, that started, and it was a huge help to me. Nice. Um, I mean, I've always been one of those people that, oh, I can handle this on my own. I'm good. Sure. I don't need any of this. Sure. Well, I sure did. Yeah. And it, like I said, it was of a huge benefit to me. Um, and we met for, I don't know, probably two or three months. And then that was the end of it. And I mean, we're still friends today. And uh, she's supported me in other ways um, in my life. But our official Stephen ministry relationship uh, came to an end. I mean, I, I pretty much decided when it was time that I, sure. you know, was uh, at a place where I could handle it. Yeah. And so. And you hit on something that I, I find very helpful. Um, you spoke about how you had that, that 
caregiver, care receiver relationship. And then after that formal relationship was ended, you're still friends and you're still acquaintances and, and interact in a normal way. Absolutely. Which, because I think that can be kind of a fear of people is that, well, once I'm in this formal care, then after the fact, things are going to be weird. Right. But they're, you're, you're saying it's very normal because of the, the way that Stephen Ministry is structured and the way in which they care for, mm-hmm. for people. Well, I've even had one of my care receivers ask me if we can be friends after we're hmm. done. <laughs> right. So, which of course we can, but, yeah. uh, you know, for right now, we are caregiver, care receiver relationship sure. at this point. So, um, so that then, when I was asked to consider becoming a Stephen minister, I had a, it took me a while. Mm-hmm. Um, because by that time my husband had passed away and I felt like I needed to get myself together before I could help anybody else, but I wanted to give back. And that is what led me to become a Stephen minister. Um, I knew how great the program is having experienced it Mm -hmm. myself. And I knew that because of my personal experiences, I would be able to relate to people that were in similar situations and yeah. understand more than most what exactly they were going through. Yeah, absolutely. Because you were walk, you were walking through your own difficulty in life, and then you had to make that decision. Okay, do I need one? Do I want one? Okay, now I have one. Now, how do I function within it? which is a very unique path. And then I love that you said it was such a blessing to me that I then decided I want to give back and care for people in the way I was cared for. Right. Which resonates in my ear, uh, Christ's words of, you know, love others as I have loved you. Right. Which is, which I think personifies the Stephen ministry at OSL so well. For sure. Yes. Cause I was loved very well myself. Yeah. And, uh, so it was kind of a no-brainer, yeah. Pretty much, but uh, so I've been a Stephen minister for five years. Okay, so. okay, nice. So, what's your what's the thing that blesses you the most as a Stephen minister? You know, you often think Stephen ministers are out to bless other people. Oh no! But what? How does it bless you? My care being a receivers minister? bless me. I have two at okay. this point, and um, they each. Our relationships are unique, and I look forward to seeing them every week. Mm-hmm. And, you know, of course, there's some weeks I can't see them due to conflicts and sure. things like that. But generally speaking, um, we look forward to our visits mutually every week. And I'm just, I've seen transformations um, of their attitudes, their, how they, look at um, the situation that they're in and that, you know, God's working in their lives, whether they believe that or not at the time. Yeah. Um, And so we always have a devotion together at the end and pray. And we always tell each other that we're praying for each other during the week and all those things. So it's been very rewarding for me. Wonderful. And that's, Rick and I were talking about this a couple of weeks ago, how Stephen ministry is very much a Christ centered ministry. Absolutely. And, and scriptures tell us whenever two or three are gathered in my name, I'm present. So God is present in those, in those interactions. So it's not just Joanne talking with another person. It's Joanne being led by the spirit to care for this person in need mm-hmm. and the Holy spirit governing or, or presiding over that interaction, which, which makes it just a, a beautiful blessing. So I, I mentioned how I'm, I'm very fond of the Stephen Ministers in such a unique, wonderful group. What does that group as a whole mean to you? And, and how are they, how do you see them, Stephen Ministers as a whole, as a blessing to OSL? Like, it's a very... And I'm sorry, I'm rambling, but it's a very unique group of people with a love for God and a love for people. And I want to highlight that. Um, I think we can we can be the arms for people. Um, 
that the pastors can't necessarily be due to time constraints and things like that. I mean, it's we are in committed relationships with our care receivers, whereas, you know, a lot of times you as the pastor sure. see people when they're in the hospital or sure. when they're sick or things like that. We're we're seeing the people in their everyday uh, situations, and we're with them as things change or progress in whatever their difficulty is. We're right there. Yeah. And so it's, it's real hands-on stuff yeah. that you couldn't possibly have the time to, to do for people. Yeah. Um, Devoted. Yes. I love that you highlighted there. It's a committed relationship and that it's, it's consistent to where the person that you're caring for knows it's going to be there. Right. You know, us, us pastors, we often get, like you said, we get busy and, and we struggle to, to make these, our church is growing. It's getting bigger and bigger Absolutely. and bigger. And I love that Stephen ministry where Stephen minister says, I'm here to care for you. I'm consistent. I'm here. I'm going to be there. You can trust it. Right. That's a beautiful gift. Yes. And so, you know, we we try to have a, a family contact, you know, outside of the person in the event something happens so that we can be there. Mm-hmm. Um, I had that at one point, and it was, I was so glad I had the person's, you know, their, their son's phone number because something was happening and right when I was there. Yeah. And so, you know, we were kind of, that, that wouldn't have happened otherwise. The person would have been alone, my care receiver, and that could have been a huge issue. Yeah. And so, um, you know, we're kind of a full service, if you will, um, you know, depending on what's going on right at the, at the moment. Yeah. So, um, and the other thing is, too, about the confidential part of this relationship, because especially um, one of the care receivers I had, that was a huge issue for her. Mm -hmm. And she was so afraid to tell me the the things that were really bothering her. She was giving me surface stuff, and I knew it. But we had to uh, be in our relationship for a while before she really understood that I do not discuss this with anyone yeah. ever. Yeah. We are, you know, she was not the subject of discussion in our meetings, not the subject of discussion between me and anybody. Mm-hmm. And so once she finally realized that, you know, this was absolutely true, then she confided in me what was really bothering her. And that was a huge breakthrough. Mm-hmm. And that's changed so many things in our relationship is that she could trust me. Yeah. Um, and as far as the other Stephen ministers go, I mean, we're just kind of a family ourselves. I mean, we, we care for each other the way we care for our care receivers. Mm-hmm. And it's, it is, it's a family. And, um, you know, but for myself, this is what I have. I have yeah. no uh, blood family here. Um, my family's in Chicago. Some of my family's in Phoenix, but I have no one here except my OSL family. Yeah. And so, I I don't know where I'd be if I didn't have that. Well, we're grateful to have you here. I, absolutely, and and you hit on so many things there about the Stephen Ministry. The confidentiality is such a it's an amazing thing when someone realizes that, all right, this is strictly 100% only between me and you, how it drops that wall of fear and uncertainty. And then you get, like you said, you get to the real core of the need and the caring of the person. Okay. Um, and I like that you highlighted family. Stephen Ministry is a family. That's one of the reasons why I love it so much is because it is a committed family. Here at OSL, the Stephen Minister say they're going to do something you can bet the farm that the Stephen Ministries are going to do that very thing. Right. It's a truly committed group of disciples um, that go to great lengths to do nothing other than love, love people and love the Lord. 
So mm-hmm. thank you for being a part of Stephen Ministry. Thank you for coming and sharing your story here. Um, folks, if you see Joanne on a Sunday morning, stop and talk to her. Talk to her about the Cubs. If you're a White Sox fan, <laughs> talk to her about how the White Sox are better, whatever it may be. If you have questions about the Stephen Ministers, um, you can stop and talk to her and, and get her input on that or any Stephen Ministry that, Stephen Minister that has one of those blue tags on their shirt. So thanks for the time, Joanne. Absolutely. Thank you. You Appreciate bet. Appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next episode.